Hello and welcome to Lemon Studios where we talk anything and everything in entertainment. I'm of course Lemon himself, Zeke Lamone, and this is my review for episode 11 of season 1 of Andor. So I was under the impression that this was one season, 24 episodes. No, it's two seasons, 12 episodes each. Which makes a lot more sense. It's like, damn, they really went for it with this show. <laughs> uh, which is why I haven't put season one by uh, episode nine. It's just been episode eleven, and I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna keep it. I'm probably gonna keep it the same way until season two comes along. Um, but yeah, before we get into the actual episode, guys, let's take care of house business real quick. I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button as I'm trying to grow into my YouTube career. Also, leave a like on this video as it helps get more exposure on this uh, video. And that will help out a lot more as well. Also, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of episode 11 of Andor. And let's have a nice discussion about it in the comment section. Now, I don't have the hood up because I'm cold. I'm really not cold. My house is pretty warm. I'm just really sad because this episode just really made me sad. Like, I am really feeling it. And I just don't want, I, I, I just want to cover up because I'm so sad. Um, because, I mean, from the get-go of just being somber with Andor's mother passing away and you're just feeling like they're cleaning out the house and I, man, I, I've been there before, um, my uncle who passed away, he, um, they were cleaning out the house and being over there and like, that's such an eerie uh, feeling to be in. And then this droid just does not want to leave. And oh my God, he was so cute, but also so sad. Like he almost brought me to tears a couple times. And the last scene in particular, when he was like, you could just stay. Like I was like, oh, he just doesn't want to leave. He doesn't want, he doesn't want it to be over. Like it was just so sad. It, it, it really, it really broke me down. It, it really broke me down. I almost cried because I was like, you know, not, not that droids are like pets or anything. I'm trying to be re respectful, but like you know, he had a, he had his bed. He has like you know he, he was almost essentially her pet, and I was just like, and I have a dog. Look, he's right here next to me. Let's get him. I have a dog, and I'm just like, oh, if I died, would you be sad? Oh, he kissed me. He kissed me. He's so cute. Um, I was like, would you be sad if he just looked so cute? He just cuddled up next to me. He's being so sweet today, guys. Um, the Mon Mothra stuff, uh, it's fine. Uh, I, I feel like she's going to have a much bigger role in season two of anything. None, none of her stuff has really connected to me if you've been a part of this journey with me. Uh, but the one uh, scene she has with her cousin, I, I liked. I really enjoyed it. it. It got me excited to see what's to come up with it. And I'm really digging the cousin story as well. Uh, part of me is thinking her and her girlfriend killed the mom. It's <laughs> because they don't feel sad about it all, all at all and if she did die maybe that's just i mean i also thought they were going to save um andor's friend and man she looks fucking brutal <laughs> right now hey let go let go okay don't let go yeah you let go um and she looks freaking brutal from all the torture she's been going through she can she i don't even think she can talk anymore because <laughs> i was like damn man um but the two main takeaways is really towards the end and then the third act when it's Luthen and he's on the uh, on his ship and the, the Imperial ship comes by. I thought this was it because he, he's not going to make it through the show. He's going to die at some point because where the hell is he in Rogue One if he does make it? And I thought this was it because I was like, oh man, here comes the Imperial ship. He's going to try to get away. He's going to go out in a blaze of glory. He's going out, but he's going to take the Imperial ship down with him. It's going to be a badass send-off. But now this motherfucker got away. <laughs> I was like, wow, that was so cool. And I'm telling you, Luthen, with uh, the scene in last week's episode, when he is easy, I'm all, I'll give you attention a little bit. Um, when he is giving the speech of, what I give up everything, brought up so many points uh, for me. And... He has the one scene with um, Forrest Whitaker. I can't remember his character's name, even though it's one of my favorites in Rogue One. Um, they have a nice scene, and then this was just the cap off of it that I absolutely freaking love it. Um, he freaking gets away from them. He destroys the front of the Imperial ship to get rid of the uh, the uh, the force that the bring not the force, but the thing that brings in the ships. 
gets that turned off, and then his ship does this cool thing with the lasers come out, and it destroys the others, and he goes straight into hyperspace. I was like, man, he is so freaking cool. But then the final scene, when Andor is just like, look, I'm, I'm going to come home. Tell her, just just make her, make, make sure she's proud of me. And then his friend goes, I'm sorry, but your mom's dead. And I was like, oh, man. And then he goes to the one friend that he had, and then his friend goes, we got to separate. And then he's just left alone because he understands just such a heartbreaking note to lit to end on. I'm really looking forward to the finale. I think I'm gonna do the. I think I'm gonna wake up at 2 a.m. I think I'm gonna wake up at the premiere uh, to watch it and uh, live in the, uh, the, the now with y'all instead of coming out super late like I've been doing. Um, and and just see how how this goes, man. Because I'm I'm really digging this show. I do miss the spectacle that is Mandalorian. But this is such a nice change of pace, especially for Star Wars. This is just really great storytelling. Um, and I am really digging it. I do still have Mandalorian as my favorite Star Wars show overall, but this is easily number two. But again, comment below. Let me know what you thought of Andor Episode Eleven and about the season as a whole. Where does it rank for you on your uh, overall Star Wars shows? And leave a like. And again, hit that subscribe button as I am trying to grow into my YouTube career. And that'll be it for me, guys. And I'll see you next time at Lemon Studios.